Hello, welcome to Cube3. Uh, I'm Luke. And I'm Mike. Hi, we are watching the PlayStation 5 showcase event from Sony. Uh, what are you looking forward to, Mike? Uh, well, I think it's quite a big, it's a big event really because we've kind of been waiting for quite a long time for any news on uh, this console after the initial reveal of the design. Um, so it's hard. obviously the, the main things to expect are price and release date, um, as well as more inf information between like the two SKUs that they've announced and how that's going to compete with what Xbox has shown. It is. It's, uh, been, a, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Microsoft have started to pull away here, I feel, with the uh, so much held back. But I've got a feeling that Sony have got quite a lot up their sleeve tonight. Have you heard any rumours about what we might be seeing? I think that, yeah, I think that's what we're kind of hoping. That you know, we're hoping we'll get the release date, we're hoping we'll get the price, but mm -hmm. it would be nice to have a couple of surprises as well where Sony kind of come out swinging, which customarily they have been doing that, um, you know, with past events and past reveals. Uh, you know, they've got things like God of War, which seems like a dead set that they'll be working on a sequel for. I think it's uh, a great thing no to start a title with, isn't it? That would be great. People would be really excited about that. Never played um, it myself, but uh, I've heard nothing but good things. I did see something about a uh, tweet that Square Enix pulled, like a Final Fantasy-based tweet. Um, but I'm not quite sure about the context, and you're, you're the resident Final Fantasy guy. I am, really, on that? I am really hoping, yeah, there was a staff member from Square, as you said, who did tweet and very quickly deleted his, his interest in the PlayStation event. Um, there are rumours of Project Atlia, I think it was called. Could, oh, be, yes. the, oh, could be the new Ithaca. Final Fantasy sixteen. Was it Atlia or Ithaca? They'll tell us. I yeah, think well, <laughs> it, it's around there. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure the people in the comments will let us know what that is. But <laughs> yeah, the big the comments. Yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> But the um, yeah, the big rumor is that that could be Final Fantasy sixteen. It's the same development team, isn't it, as uh, fifteen? Is that correct? It is, and if you look at the gameplay and you look at the gameplay that was shown for fifteen, they're nearly identical. Same engine, right. uh, same kind of combat. Personally, I hope that it's not. I would like a new standalone title using everything the PlayStation 5 has to offer. But also, it's been long enough. I'm not, I'm not getting another Kingdom Hearts for another, like, 10 years. So Final Fantasy 16 should should do. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's also, like, an interesting thing about... Like, it's an interesting stage to release a console as well because there's also talk about how... There might be limited supply for this console coming out. Um, you know, they've been talking about registering interest to to even pre-order it in the first place. Yeah, at the moment uh, you can pre-order the solid gold versions. Yeah, and which that, is that, yeah, it's tempting. It's tempting when it's been so long to wait. <laughs> yeah, you feel like, <laughs> is this it? Do I have to get this, or am I not getting anything? But uh, oh my god, you'd have such buyer's remorse, wouldn't you, if you're just like sitting looking at that because it's, it's going to be a big console as well. Imagine a big solid gold. Well, this is it. With, with the TV cabinet I've got as well, most of that is going to be hidden. Oh, man. Just between two planks of wood. Yeah, yeah. Just peeking, just the root of peeking up, peeking up from behind. But then again, how are you feeling about the design? I, I know that's caused a lot of issues. People have very different points. I like the design. I'd like it better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which... It's a possibility as well that they will, well, they might show something like that as well, like a different kind of uh, variation on the colour. But, yeah, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't super sold on the design when I first mm -hmm. saw it. Um, I kind of am in the camp of thinking it looks a little bit like a, a router or a clamshell. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I will, but what I will give it is a, is a bold, it's a very different design, you know, from what we have seen in the past. It is. Uh, uh, putting my consoles next to each other down on the TV bench, there's not a lot of variation there. You, you're going to no. know that you've got a PlayStation 5 like as soon yeah. as you walk through the door. 
Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, which, yeah. which is good. You know, that is a bold statement, and it, it is nice to try in something. But I think at the moment, uh, Xbox has got it picked, even with the um, the little intercom yeah. series, series I, S. Yeah, yeah, I do like. I I like quite like the look of that. I've seen mixed mixed reviews of that as well, but uh, I do. Yeah, it looks like. Um, there's a designer called Dieter Rams, and it kind of looks like a similar kind of. Uh, it all looks like it's taking design influence from that. Uh, but I, I like the the uh, Series X as well. I, I really like the kind of super minimal cube design, you know, with the hard edges. I, I love hard edges on, on anything, <laughs> <laughs> especially my woman. Good. Yeah, good, good, good to know. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so. Um, Quick time check. We are just gone nine o'clock. We should be getting started in a minute. Yeah. Should we go? There's no no countdown yet though, is there? Or, no, oh, we're in. Timing. This is oh. this is it. Re refresh my feed. Okay, let's see what they've got. Okay. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Yeah, nice little refresh of what we've seen already. Yeah. I'm expecting some Horizon gameplay tonight. I... Yeah. Yeah, obviously anything... I mean, they've, they've already got a strong um, lineup. Yeah. That's confirmed for PlayStation 5, which, you know, to be fair, is quite competitive with uh, Xbox, but it would be nice to see a couple of other surprises. And some uh, PlayStation VR stuff as well. Yes. I wonder if they're going to say anything about that. Yeah, the the rumor is that they've already got their um, their new VR headset patented for the PS5. But yeah, would we'll you be upset? Would you be upset if the existing uh, PS VR doesn't work with PS5? I don't think it's something we have to worry about. I, I'm I'm sure that it is going to work, but depending on what they've got, I think it's going to depend if I'm going to be swayed to go all in with the new headset. I think I'm a little bit ahead of you on my feed here as well. I wonder if I can uh, wondering if I can uh, sync it up a little bit. That looked like a chocobo. This 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 looks very Final Fantasy. This would be I, a, I saw I saw a chocobo. That is that is a chocobo. What this could be though. Uh, is maybe Final Fantasy 15 online? Maybe some new content. Yeah, I, I, I would love it to be 16, but I don't it's think it's possible. There's no doubt here, is it? This, this is Final Fantasy. Yeah, there you go. Final Fantasy theme in the background. Yeah. Going for the more traditional look again as well, which I... uh, yeah, it's going. Uh, it's looking like The Witcher. Yeah, yeah, very much so. And I, I'm all for that. I've, uh, mm. you know, obviously, you know that I love Final Fantasy VII, but we've had remake this year, so why not? Why not go a bit traditional? It's it's Witcher Final Fantasy. D does that sway you? Is, isn't it? Well, it is. It's intriguing me. Yeah. But Final Fantasy always intrigues me, but then I never, since the PlayStation originals, I never really dipped in. This is, this is something oh, I, I, I would like your view on, because, you know, I'm biased. I'm, I'm getting this, whatever happens. Yeah. Going for a more free-flowing well, combat system again? Yeah, yeah. Dare I say it? Souls influence. To be honest, when that first bonfire came up, did think it might have been Dark Souls. Yeah. Well, that's pretty badass. You know what you're getting with this as well. I, you know, the quality on this. Oh, you know the production values are going to be <laughs> through the roof, aren't you? I mean, you can see that already. Although yeah. one thing. One thing that I am, this all is a classic consternation with any generational leap 
in hardware mm-hmm. is everything still looks like it was initially designed on existing hardware. Yeah, and I think we ported over. We got a couple of years to go, I think. Yeah. Bringing back the crystals. We've already seen Ifrit fight in Phoenix for some reason. Do you think there's any suggestion of a job system? If they go in crystal storyline, then yeah, I definitely say that the the jobs are coming back. So but, they're usually with the more classic ones, aren't they? Like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're you're spot on. They've the Witcher has definitely influenced this in a massive way. Yeah. Kind of going with the uh, the buddy team up again. Well, I was going to say, what do you think of those the character designs in uh, the Final Fantasy? There it is, Final Fantasy sixteen, amazing. Oh, that's cool. That is a cool logo. PlayStation oh, exclusive, PlayStation oh. console exclusive, like <laughs> also available on PC. <laughs> but that <laughs> is <laughs> which is Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they've they've got it straight away, haven't they? Yeah, that's it's it's just strong, isn't it? It's uh, well, that looks like an X, which is quite weird. <laughs> yeah, and a hard edge. Yeah, it wouldn't be a lure. I like, I like hard edges. That is very exciting. Like the character design. Play. Like like the whole thing. They don't need to say right. when it's out. We just need to know that it's being made. No, this is it's strong that they've started this off with, you know, we haven't had Sh- Sh- Yoshida coming out. We haven't had Mark Cerny having a chat. No. It's literally just launched straight into the games. But with and what, the quality they've got at the moment is kind of speaking for themselves, isn't it? That's it, yeah. It's got Final Fantasy, they can li- do next, we'll throw Spider-Man in as well. Yeah, they could literally just play this trailer, go 499 at the end. <laughs> <laughs> End it. Are you think? Are you thinking four nine nine for the British market? I don't know. That's it's a steep. That's a steep ask. But they, we know they've got the two SKUs. It's probably going to be the same thing as Xbox. The discless one is going to be cheaper. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, like you said, I'm thinking for the deluxe ones. Or I don't know, premium. No, yeah. no less than four fifty. I reckon. Yeah, I mean they've made this mistake before, haven't they, with the PlayStation Three? Mm-hmm. Uh, as soon as you start going upwards of that 300 threshold, you're just completely, you know, uh, cannibalizing the market. I think with the technology they've got, I want 450, 469 with something bundled in. Yeah, VR. <laughs> that would never happen though. No, that'd be a bit of a push. But if, if they give yeah. me Spider Man for 450. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. With a, with a Spider-Man themed console as well. Well, if that ever happens, Horton, here's a Hugh. Is that consistent with the comics? Yeah, Rox and Corp is a big, big influence in the comics. It's a bit infamous, isn't it? It is a bit, actually. Yeah, it looks a bit. Looks like it's got a bit future. Future Spider Man. It's confident, though. They've shown gameplay of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you said, like this makes you wonder what they've got planned for the rest of the night. If they can lead with these two things, yeah. Don't yeah. know why. Don't know why Spider Sense didn't kick in then. Uh, or then. <laughs> no. Yeah. She looks a bit destiny. Who, who's that? I don't know who that is, but she had a bit of uh, bit of octopus. octopus. Yeah. yeah. Bit of dark oak tentacles. Could lean into the Spider Verse stuff, you know, female Doctor Octopus. Nice. I 
I mean, even though this all looks current gen developed, that you know, it does look very good. I know we spoke before this came out as well. Those Insomniac tweets, are we thinking there's a remaster mm. of the original? Yeah, I could see that, like an upscaled, just the original, uh, what was it, what year did it release, 2017? Uh, what were we, what we in now, 20, maybe 2018? 18. Yeah, yeah, 18 I'd say. Yeah, I can see them doing like a version of that, like a PS5 enhanced version of that, for sure, which comes in a pack with this one or something. Well, how much would you pay for that pack, Mike? Oh, uh, no more than 35 pounds. That's a, <laughs> that's a big step up from 11 right now, but we'll, uh, we'll go with that. That's fine. <laughs> one for the fans. So the, these villains and these bad guys aren't giving anything away to a to Spider-Man fan, like a mega fan. Oh, what's that about? Is that the uh, the shock? No, uh, Spider-Man going invisible. Oh yes, yeah. so Can Miles Morales. Yeah, Miles Morales has got different powers to Peter Parker. He's got these uh, electro stinger shock attacks, and he can go invisible as well. Nice. Okay. I think they all have suitably spider names, but electric shocks and stealth. That is one of one of the my favourite things about the 2018. If it is 2018, we'll have to correct that. I think um, it is. But I did like the like the special powers you could do with Spider Man. Like it was properly like overpowered. But I did quite enjoy doing like that spin move and just taking out every guy like robbing a shop. Well it ended with Miles being trained, didn't it? So we're seeing a much yeah. more confident Spider-Man, yeah? Do you, you think he'll still play as Peter, Peter Parker in this? I think he's going to be in it. And I think he's going to have some kind of influence. But I think they're going to save that for the big Spider-Man 2 reveal. Yeah, it definitely makes sense to mix it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, Miles is hot property at the moment. Yeah, and he is also the you know the title of this game is Miles Morales, isn't it? So I think you need. But, to they, have, but they, they could yeah. they could pull an MGS too, though, couldn't they? Well, like this is the only mission for Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah. and then back to normal. <laughs> yeah. He's just oh. playing his mum his mum on the campaign trail. Bit of Tom oh, Holland nice, there. Yeah, a bit of classic. Uh, saving a train, saving a boat, always the same move. Yeah, this has to be done. Oh. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Peter might have come in then. Like, that's the question, you know. Where's Peter when all this is going on? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point, yeah. They might explain that in the, uh, in the story, perhaps. I think they need to have some kind of explanation as to why he's not there, because... You'd like to think Peter Parker wouldn't let a bridge totally go to hell and then just leave it, leave a young Spider-Man to do it. Yeah. Not that, that not he's not great. capable, but it does. It does look great. Holiday oh, 2020, it, though, hasn't confirmed as a launch title yet. No, just no. in the holiday period. They did just save one person. Did he just save one person and leave the rest to die? <laughs> I, think, I think he just <laughs> moved them across. Like when I think when okay. he pulled pulled the bridge together, then they all ran onto the the safe bit. It's still looking nice. Mark Sinney, do you reckon? Uh, are we going to see anyone? I think I know. This oh, okay. Is. Oh, this is uh, yeah. Quidditch World Cup two. Oh, it is as well. Yes. Have Finally, to be, the uh, <laughs> the much rumoured, uh, <laughs> the much Harry Potter the much game. much requested. Quidditch World Cup <laughs> 2. <laughs> Me and Luke once uh, spent an entire night clocking Quidditch World Cup 2 on... Uh, what did we play it on the GameCube, was it? I can't remember uh, what console Yeah, yeah on the GameCube, I think. But you, you also say clocked it in the night. Like, we didn't start at 1 o'clock in the morning till, till sunrise. No, I think we had like a full... I think we had like a drinking session 
<laughs> the party the party ended and then we instead of going to bed we just popped on uh, Quidditch World Cup. <laughs> that was, well I, I don't think the part, completion. I don't think the party lived up to expectations. <laughs> I think I think this was the only way to uh, to really get the party going was playing Quidditch World Cup. This looks good though. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm impressed actually at the uh, fidelity. Have you, yeah. Have you ever played any Harry Potter games? Uh, only that one, uh, which I think you also had, where you could like uh, sort of benches bench. and people's yeah, face, yeah. yeah, people's faces. Yeah, um, and that's the funnest thing to do in it. Order the Phoenix for the Wii. Yes, that's it. Yeah. I was really impressed at the time, though, that um, they had such a good representation of the whole castle of all of Hogwarts. Yeah. Because so, like, seeing this on a PS5. This well, is, what's it going to look like? Yeah, yeah. Certainly going to get some like fights. That. Hmm. I mean, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, but this does look quite cool. You know? Well, no, same same year, but just. Everything's quite enticing at the moment. Well, I mean, the t I don't want to, you know, show any bias or anything like this, but they really have got it sewn up on the on the game front. Sony at the moment, they understand they understand games sell consoles, um, and what. What makes those games enticing? They understand. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that was biased at all. Um, mm. We we've both talking about how with the X talking that's not a word. <laughs> we both talked about Tolkien. how <laughs> how the Xbox um, JR Tolkien didn't come. <laughs> yeah. without that Halo Infinite launch for the Xbox. Like, should it even be launching? Should they be holding mm. out for it? I feel like that, you know, it shouldn't have passed. You know, as much as it's probably a good game and everyone's worked hard on it, mm -hmm. it didn't present very well in that in that showcase at all. No. And, and it should have been. The worst thing they could have done is then said, you're not going to get this on release. Mm. Who's this guy? He works... Nathan Drake? Yes, he is um, <laughs> the new lead. Tom Holland has been sacked, and uh, this guy who works for, for the Black Ops development team is now going to be Nathan Drake. <laughs> He's talking about uh, haptic controls, which are going to oh. work really well on a shooter. Like, I'm that's very a, interested in the haptic controls as well. It is. It's some, something we haven't touched on. But the potential for that, like we were talking about Spider-Man, sensitivity on the web in like tensile strength yeah just having resistance yeah on, on those triggers and stuff is going to be amazing i mean i loved it i like do you remember playing it it never got utilized enough on um playstation 2 but like the the uh, pressure sensitive buttons which were used for uh like a metal gear solid 2 and stuff yeah yeah, yeah i always yeah. thought that stuff was really cool if you pressed it like a little bit too hard uh you know you would sort of go into cover to too quickly or something. I can't remember. How, you know. Yeah, yeah, and um, Tekken used it well as well. Tekken had like uh, pressure sensitive attacks, didn't it? Was there? Yeah, I, I think so. I'd... Was that Tekken Four? I think from from the Dual Shock Two app. I think. Mm -hmm. So we're getting some gameplay on this. What was the last Call of Duty game you played? Um, WW2. Oh, yeah. Yes. The, one with the, the one with the guy at Transformers in. Yeah, I'm, I'm really out of the loop with uh, Call of Duty. I haven't played one since Ghosts. Well, So back at the start of this generation yeah, yeah, yeah. was the last one I played. It's what drew me back in is the the original setting, the World War Two setting. Mm. I've always been more of a fan of that, and it, it was a good game. It was a good campaign. You know that I'm oh, not absolutely. a big a big multiplayer. Uh, oh, bit of sniper elite. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, they have. Let's see the bone. Oh, maybe, maybe that's trademarked by sniper elite. Yeah, yeah. the bone thing's got to be. 
Okay, it's looking pretty uh, nice. Quick. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, I haven't played a Call of Duty game for a while, but I feel like there's a reason that they're one of the yeah, biggest yeah, franchises. Yeah. You know, as much as as much as you know, as much stick as they get. They're, they are generally well-made games. The only thing that's going to draw me back in is stuff like these kind of set pieces. Uh, I love a, I love a set piece. Yeah, yeah. Set pieces sell games. Best best set piece in video gaming. Oh, I know, well, gonna I know be, what you're going to uh, say anyway. Oh, it's going to be... Um, uh, it's going to be... Uh, let, me, let me try and guess what snake. I think it's going to be. Oh, okay. Snake. That would that would be what uh, I went yeah. for. No, it was it wasn't a serious answer. It would be the um Land Rover Chase in Uncharted two three? Four. Is it four? Yeah, the four. The last one is easily I think that's that is a high watermark for set pieces, which I'm still not sure is oof. Still not sure it's been topped. Was that Uncharted Four that long ago? Yeah. Wow. With the with the motorbike and the and the jeep. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. 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 The train, yeah. That's four. Oh yeah, it would be four because you you're chasing after your brother, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, that probably would be that would definitely be tops tops for me and any other Uncharted game probably has uh, numerous set pieces that would be put in there, like the boat in three. I thought was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, trying to think what other set pieces would be good. Oh, the chase, Metal Gear Solid 2, when you get chased by Shagger Hod. Love that. Yeah, that was good. I don't know what I'd go for. I was going to say, you're thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back to that. Okay. Oh, uh, the when in Shenmue 1, when the kid <laughs> kicks the, the football at Rio. And just hits and then you in the face. up on the screen, and yeah, you got to catch it, or it hits you in the face. That's a top tier. Ooh, so you can you can preload the alpha for that starting tomorrow. Oh, fair, okay. I'm not paying attention to how that. Uh, like he didn't say anything about that being a free upgrade for PS5 or anything. I'm assuming it is. So, like, you need to keep that going, don't you? Yeah, it's a it's a big draw that. Yeah. You know I haven't done the DLC of The Witcher yet, so. I'm surprised how much of this is the game uh, showcase. I think they've learned from past oh. mistakes, haven't they? I, 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 love, yeah. I love a PowerPoint as much as the next guy, but uh, yeah. people do switch off. Part of me does miss an element of that, though, you know, like a, a Resident PowerPoint Evil, do you think? thing in a pocket as well. This could be Resident Evil, yeah. Yeah, I, I like to know that they've done their research. <laughs> not not yes, that we ever need, we we never need to doubt that Sony have not done their research <laughs> on releasing a video games console. But I like to see those numbers. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I like to see guests and I like to see I do like to see developers talk and see You like to you, know, you, you like to see Pele being brought out for something he's got no grasp of. I do. I like the spectacle. I like the show. You know, <laughs> like it's a little bit too. Uh, it's a little bit too pristine. These uh, trailer shows, as good as good as they are. Like, has it been confirmed that this is a continuation of six? Not uh, of seven. You mean seven? Yeah, seven. Yeah. Or no. Um, I'm not sure actually. I think that character Ethan was in it, wasn't he? Yeah, oh, and it's got a bit. It's got a bit Coraline. Hmm. What is this? Tim Burton's Resident Evil. Burton's Resident Evil. <laughs> VR, I'm assuming as well. Got to be. I mean, Seven was a great VR experience from what what we tried of it. <laughs> yeah, great as in terrifying. And Horrible, yeah. Awful. <laughs> yeah, don't want to play any more of this. But not yeah. through not through the quality of the game. No, no, absolutely not. No. 
I mean, I've never, I haven't screamed like that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> since, since the breakup of my marriage. <laughs> <It's wild though. laughs> nice, nice to see Castle making a return as well. Yeah, well, we're, we're longing for the days of four, really, aren't we? Well, that's, you know, it's reminiscent of that, isn't it? Another, another game we spent a lot of time on. I do hope we're not talking over all the information. Or like, is is Leon confirmed for that, or is it? We've we've seen Leon in the previous trailer. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm trying to remember these things, and uh, I'm not the sharpest tool in the uh, well, tool in the box. It's not even that. It's just it's just been a while, isn't it? It's been things have been drawn out. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is that first person shooter with the um the time mechanic, isn't it? Yeah, the uh gearbox developed, is that right? I'm not sure. No, it's not gearbox. De Box Deathloop, I think. Deathloop games. Yeah, yeah. Which is could it could be a very interesting uh premise for sure. Yeah, it's um, very dishonoured, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. It's, it's, it is that development team, isn't it? It's the same development uh, team, I think. Uh, Ar Arcane? Is it Arcane? That sounds right. I don't know. I'm going to have to correct that as well. Could have worked on the names a bit. Yeah. I never played the uh, Dishonored games, though. That's uh, no, me all neither. my knowledge. Yeah. Have we got them? Have we got them on plus. Possibly, yeah. Maybe, maybe one of them or two of them. I don't know. I know. Two well, I can't say that. I don't think any of the Bethesda games are on there. Uh, have been on there. This could be the time. Yeah, well, it's definitely a reason to give it a go and see. It's a primer. I know people are quite fond of uh, Dishonored 2, and they say there's like a genius level in it. Some uh, clockwork clockwork building level or something like that where like I think the level shifts and changes as you go through it mm -hmm. but I'm liking the kind of um, you know Avengers the Saint kind of uh, stylized thing going on it's cool you know nice and hectic as well like you feel you're not going to master it, but it, it's given me the urge that I'd want to just jump straight back into it. Yeah, like I feel you get the impression that there's going to be a lot of ways to, uh, you know, attack progression through that. Yeah, through yeah, the yeah, yeah. I'm always terrible with a sniper rifle in a game as well. Yeah, any first-person shooter games are just not my... Well, you, you've seen me play Uncharted, and yeah, I, I, well, have, I have a sword in Destiny. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Still. although, well you, well, you played plenty of shooters, though, didn't you? Yeah. You played, played Call of Duty. But, I mean, uh, I'm definitely more of a casual shooter fan. Yeah, and I, I will always play the campaign where I know that I've always got the upper hand. Yes, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like the Wolfensteins I enjoyed, those are probably ones that I enjoyed recently. Yeah, yeah. And, well, you uh, turned me on to the first one of that, didn't you? And it was, it was yeah, brilliant. that's great, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Capcom. Oh, obviously, oh, Capcom's back. Oh, this could be that uh, Hideo Kojima-esque game. I what think it it's Devil May Cry. 
Devil May Cry 6? Oh, get out. No, I can't how be. Have you, how have you got that so quickly? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, it's Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw um, V with the walking stick. Uh, okay. Was that a bit of a, uh, a bait and switch there going off? Well, like I'm, I wasn't expecting that, but mm. I'll happily play a game as Virgil all the way through. Yeah. Oh, so cool. healthy uh, Capcom presence. Yeah. I like that as well. You can switch between V and Virgil. So I guess... All right. I guess it's not a spoiler now to say that Virgil is V. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. No, I didn't know that. But I, I'm not up on the lore of uh, Devil May Cry. Beyond... Uh, uh, what did I play? I played two or three. Three, I Which think. Which was the, the good one? Which was yeah. the good one? Three. Yeah, three. Yeah. I was a very, very happy chap this side of the screen at the moment. Final Fantasy, Down with Cry. Are we going to get the upgrade, yeah. though, for the people who've already got this? Is this only available digital, digitally? Hmm. I am hoping for an upgrade there. I don't want to mm. shell out again. I wonder if that's the thing that's like left to the publisher's discretion. I, I suppose it would be. Oh, cool. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a uh, soul. What's it called? Soul. Uh... Soul. Uh, well, not, not Soul Odyssey, but so... we know what it is. It's odd world. It's yes. odd world. Which I think is due a comeback. Uh, I thought the remakes, you know, the remake of the original and uh, where, uh, you know, the, the 2.5D remakes of the original, mm -hmm. I th thought they weren't, they didn't do the originals justice, I don't think. Yeah, some, some something missing. Yeah. Something missing. Something So, do you, do you agree that they needed the power of the PlayStation 5 for Oddworld? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> like no this could, they could this have, have come out like three years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, there's a lot of... Uh, there, were, there were a lot. Oh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> but to be fair, this is what we want. We want classic mm -hmm. Oddworld. 2.5D, you know, cool story, cool puzzles. That's all we need from it. And just make sure that they sort out the controls. Because the problem with those remakes, I think, the biggest problem with them is the controls. They maybe they're going to put the, ha the haptic controls in. Oh, maybe, yeah. That is the power of PS5 right there we're looking at. Soulstorm. Soulstorm, that's it. T uh, taking a leaf out of Star Wars uh, logo book there as well, weren't they? Uh, you need the lines, don't you? Looks nice yeah. on the side of a box. It does, yeah, on the spine. Spine of a case. It's going to be a lot of white in our, uh, in our game library from now on. Mm. How do you feel about that, those uh, boxes? I, I just, I'm always going to want everything in black. Yeah. I, I like the blue currently. I wish they'd stuck with that. And yeah, still get a yeah. Of that. Uh, what is this? No idea. This isn't Portal, is it? Can't be. Why would this be for PlayStation? Outer Worlds? 
Uh, well, the Outer Worlds DLC has just come out, but no, I don't think this is there. Could be something new. Very exciting. No hints at the moment. No. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you played any of them? I, I haven't uh, played I, any of them. I have, yeah. I've played a bit of the. I think I played a bit of the first one on mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't want to be dismissive, but I kind of thought it was just it was just night like trap, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> because the kids love a bit of night trap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like. <laughs> There's one thing about the youth of today, they're liking <laughs> it everything to Night Trap. <laughs> but I, I do love the story of the guy, you know, he's making like another game. Uh, he's making like a, kid, a kid's game. Originally, oh, yeah. this time five, five Nights at Freddy's originated. Yeah, he's yeah. making a, a kid's game and then someone said, these are like the scariest characters we've <laughs> ever seen in a video game. I just leave uh, it so to So he just completely changed tact, yeah, and, and, went, and changed it to a horror game. And I think that's genius. I haven't seen this either. This looks. Uh, what are we looking at? Yeah, looks interesting. We've had nothing on the new Dragon Age, have we? Apart from Dragon Age is coming. No. Yeah. What studio did they say it is? It hasn't said anything. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Is, um, is this Soul? Is this Soul? Blue, Blue Point. Oh yeah. It's it's Souls, isn't it? It must be. If if it's not, it then good. then they need to uh, sue somebody. Yeah, it looks good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Have you played any of these? Only Bloodborne. Uh, and I've done the classic thing, which everyone says not to do. I think I might have had a bad build to start off with. Uh, but I spent like literally two hours getting to the, the first boss, got them down to like an inch of their life bar, like left. And I got caught on a tombstone and just obliterated. <laughs> and ever since then, I was like, I'm not, I can't do it. But, but I know, I know these games are, are great, and obviously, people, there's a big following, and I'd love to get into them. But I just, I can't, I can't well, feel the commitment of doing I, it as well. I've got Dark Souls, and I got maybe three quarters of the way through. And it, yeah. it was, it was a great game, but. I don't know, maybe I do need just a little bit of hand-holding at some points. Yeah, but I then, feel like I'm too, ca I'm too casual. I get too frustrated with, with harsh, you know, harsh checkpoints and things like that. I just get really frustrated with it. I think we're both just a bit eager as well. Like, if we're doing well, we're always going to yes. throw that, that extra sword in. Definitely. Patience as well. Like, when I'm playing a game, yeah, I haven't got that patience. I didn't think I did. But then I bought Sekiro, and yeah. Sekiro became my life for a good few months. Mm. But yeah, that was a very steep learning curve. Yeah. But then isn't Sekiro described as like a, like a casual Souls game as well? Well, there's people who argue that it's harder. I wouldn't. Okay. I, I've played both, and I would say that Dark Souls is much harder. Yeah, yeah. Like, but when, once you've got the timing down as Sekiro, it doesn't feel as unfair. Yeah. Like, what what were you meant to do about that then? I feel yeah, I feel like Souls, but then this maybe is where the genius of it is that we that we haven't caught on to yet. Is like I feel like you can't telegraph any of those hits. You know what I mean? Like, I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm not quick enough to see those calls. Well, they weren't either. <laughs> you know like I, I want like a but then people say for it looks fans, incredible punch out as well it looks really good yeah like I'm a big fan fan of the original punch out uh -huh. and people that looked awesome yeah that dragon then really good uh, effects like fire effects and stuff um but you know like I feel like I'm too much of an old school video gamer. Like I want that sort of like color flash to tell me that the attack's yeah, coming. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To react to. You need the exclamation mark above their heads. 
Yes, yeah. yeah. And you need the you need the wind up. Yeah, and maybe they're there. They probably they probably are there, but I'm just too stupid to see it. What what I want as well is once you've done that, that is it. Don't just suddenly switch it up. Yes, yeah. Pattern a very rigid pattern. Very rigid pattern till death. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Sekiro has none of that either, and they've got like hidden health bars and everything. It's a yeah. It took a lot. Oh yeah, like after you've you think you've just killed them, but actually, yeah, second yeah. health bar. Like it was, uh, it's looking like Fortnite. It is Fortnite. Fortnite for the for the masses. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Do you think Fortnite can sustain its popularity? I think it's got some stiff competition now. Now we've got well, four guys. Four guys. Yeah, well, it's true though. Stuff like that has sort of uh, taken a bit of the attention away. We've played. We've played a lot of four guys. We haven't played much Fortnite. No, I still haven't been crowned. <laughs> no, I've been close so many times. Uh, like we'll um, we'll keep an eye on uploading those crown attempts. At some point. Oh, here we go. It's an actual tangible announcement. God of War. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is this the new What's PS now? This said it's a new benefit for PS5. Yeah, new PS Plus benefit for your PS5 customers. For, free PS now for everyone who's got a PS5. Well, I don't know. It looks like it looks like it's just all of these games now. You can play with the PS Plus subscription on PS5. I think this is their competition to Game Pass. They need one. Game, Game Pass has been fantastic. That is the sweetest nut that Microsoft have to compete to compete against Sony with. Oh, easily. So this does look like this might be their answer to it. Loved Second Son. I thought that was great. We, we've both played a lot of those games and there's not a duffer in those. No, I mean... It, even Last Guardian, I think that I think it's an underrated game. <laughs> Did you complete that? I haven't, even sl- I haven't even played it. I thought it was, I loved it. I Shadow played. of Colossus, last I played. Yeah, I still played the remake of that as well. No, I, I've got it down here. I haven't opened it up yet. They're no. catering for a wide market as well. I think that's that's the thing on why. I mean, this is why PS4 has dominated the last cycle. Because it really has had the games. I know not all of these are exclusives, but the exclusives. Yeah, until dawn. You know, they're a compelling argument. That's strong. There was. That's very strong. No, no price at all. Just looks like we're getting them for nothing. Looks like well, just part of the plus subscription, isn't it? So. That's that is a great deal for yeah. the games. The games that are there, yeah. Some of those are, you know, modern classics. If you haven't played them, here we go. Do you think it's hard to forget? It's easy to forget that they're they've still got a nice date and a price, isn't it? Well, yeah. I was just going to say, like that's that's what we're we're waiting for, isn't it? Here we go. That would be the time. Let's, let's show it off a bit. Keep it fresh in our heads that we're getting all those free games for the price that you have in it. I am I am softening to the design, I must say. What if I told you that stand is free? Would that, does that tickle your pickle? No, I would, ex- I would expect that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably expect that it's as well. Of admission. And if not, I'd kick off and I'd be sending like an email to their customer service. The, the, ru- <laughs> the rumor it is. It does annoy it- me. Oh, here we go. Oh. 449. Oh. For the. There we go. 449 and 359. Okay. November the November. 19th for us. November the 12th for everywhere else. November the 19th for Europe. Well, there you go. It's a competitive price, it's under 450. Is under it's under four fifty, and it looks like you just get you just getting the controller and the console by the looks of it. 
Yeah, yeah. I think they're not going to confuse the message with VR yet. No, and it's a shame they're not putting those fancy headphones in. Which fancy he- headphones? You've seen the noise cancelling. Yeah, yeah, those nice white ones. One more surprise, do you think? Uncharted 5? Oh, it's got to be God of War. It's got to be. It's very snowy. Got to be. Last of Us Part 3. Yeah, that sounds like Kratos. Played by Christopher Judge from Stargate. It is, it is. I was just going to uh, <laughs> collect that factoid if you didn't know. One, one, one for the fans there. <laughs> If you've learned nothing tonight from any of us, you now know that Teal from Stargate is crap. <laughs> Actually, looks like a Stargate. That <laughs> it does. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's a maybe it's a bait and switch. Stargate PlayStation <laughs> Five. What are they calling it? Ragnarok. Yeah, good for that. Nice teaser. That's all they need. They don't need to show anything else. Twenty twenty one. Not long to wait. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Still I think you, sh- you, sh- you, sh- you should play the, the first one, the God of War one. Have, have, have War we just confirmed that, that that is God of War as well? There's yes. not just a game called Ragnarok. Well, they could be calling it Ragnarok, but it's definitely a continuation of the God of War reboot, for sure. Well, what did you make of that, then? I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. What do you... Uh, uh, What's your what's your views? Four four nine enough? Too much? I think I think to, it's fair. It's to be expected, isn't it? It's the best price. I would agree with that. that. You could have hoped for. Um, and we kind of knew next gen was going to be expensive, and we were just hoping it wasn't going to be in that upper echelons of expense. So, you know, it's about right. You know. And in the three hundreds, if you're going digital only as well. Yeah, I mean that. That's. That's one of my main sticking points for this generation, though. Are they are they just trying to encourage a push towards digital only? Because well, it, you know it's looking more tempting to buy the digital only version. The design of it is nicer; it's more balanced yeah. than the one with the disc drive. Well, Cube Three are going to be discussing this with with us as well on whether we go digital, but. Um, I, I love a physical disc. That's my my two cents. I need to know what I'm getting. Yeah. I want a disc. I want a nice chunky instruction manual. It, it's upset me with every other form of media. Like, I'm still hanging on to my CD collection at the moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and it, it saddens me to think that, that, you know, everyone predominantly, and I still, and I do as well, predominantly this to Spotify now. And is yeah. that just going to happen to games, you know, as well? You know, oh, I thought that looked like a black uh, PlayStation then, but I'm not sure if it's just dimly lit. It looks like a charcoal grey version. Did you see that? I think it was just a dark screen. I think I it was just, they wouldn't just dimly lit. Like, they couldn't do that. They, they couldn't just have, at the end, just a little <laughs> glimpse of nothing. No, definitely not. Well, there you go. That's the yeah. PlayStation so, case. The big, the big announcement, November the 19th for us, £449, three, yeah. six, £369 for the UK, I believe, on the digital only. That was and, the news we wanted. And then yeah. it basically reaffirms, you know, some of the, some of the content and some of the games that they've got coming, and some very uh, which big, were looking very strong. Very big reveals there. Yeah. On uh, Final Fantasy 16, which we were hoping for. Mm. I, I was really hoping for. Yeah. Spider Man's still looking great. Exactly what we want. Spider Man is looking crisp. It is. It looks fantastic. No, no word on a remaster, but I feel that's coming as well. It's, yeah, okay. it seems very likely. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't in that PlayStation Plus uh, collection of games, was it? No. I guess yeah, yeah, sure. nothing, nothing now but the waiting then. Uh, well, it's not long to wait though, is it? It's, it's not at all. And get those pre-orders in. 
if if you were that that way inclined. Other, other games consoles are available. Early adopters, though, early adopters for that the PlayStation Plus stuff for any early adopters that almost nullifies any worry you have in terms of game yeah, yeah, yeah. if you haven't played those games. Making sure those exclusives yeah. are on as well might even draw some people over. Yeah. Right. I want to know if that's available to the PS4 as well. I highly doubt it. But It would be nice, wouldn't it? Like, I'm sure we've had all those of PS Plus at some point, but yeah. it would be nice to have them just on our nice new shiny consoles. Yeah, and you need to you need to incentivize the jump. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, head to Cube Three for all your game news and reviews. And I've been Luke. And I've been Mike. And we'll catch up with you soon. All right. Take care. Cool.